Okay, so we're ready for National Cheese Lovers Day, which is possibly something that should be a national holiday, like the bank should be closed and the post office is closed, but it's not. It's a good excuse to eat cheese, so we wanted to have Caitlin Riley, our farm director, and also former Alice in Dairyland on the show, because who better to know cheese than someone that works at a dairy farm? It was ironic is in most of my interactions with cheese, we stuck with like the classic Colby's and cheddars on a cheese tray, which is totally fine. I'm not knocking at anyone that likes that. But since then, I've been sampling some of the really fun cheeses like jalapeno, blueberry, finding cool recipes on TikTok. And so I'm glad that I'm expanding out of my typical cheese range. I mean, blueberry like, cheese? Oh my gosh, it's so good. So I'm a Wisconsin girl. I will promote Wisconsin cheese through and through. But Mets Heartland, creamery in minnesota they're just over in rushford they made this like blue it's it tastes like a blueberry cheesecake it is amazing it sounds weird but they've also oh, like man. cinnamon cheese you know some people may put a slice of cheese on an apple pie yeah they not put like apple cinnamon there's fudge cheese that's really good because has a thick density of cheese so not just savory there's a lot of we do a lot of fun things um, why aren't you bringing any of these cheeses into work wish to share with some of right. your favorite or least favorite coworkers? Yeah, they usually don't even make it home from the grocery store. <laughs> Full disclosure. That makes sense. <laughs> you just, like eat cheese in the car in the grocery store. Do you not, like, do you not go shopping hungry and then sometimes just shame eat in the car and yeah. watch people and just think about life and your choices? And- <laughs> It's a win-win though, because I'm supporting my dairy farm family while also supporting our local economy through the retailers, the processors, right? It's love it. Myself. That's the most important thing. So what are you what did you make for us today? Okay, so this is a recipe I saw on TikTok. I'm a TikTok junkie, and we do actually have a TikTok around River City. Search for us because I'm gonna be posting this video there as well. But these are, I don't even know the technical term for it, but essentially mini cheese waffles. And I know it sounds weird, but this has kind of gone on a keto diet thing. I'm not a keto dieter, but anything that has cheese in it, I'm all on board for. So all you need is one of these super cute mini waffle irons. If you want to go big, you can use a normal size one. I'm not going to judge you. And then pick your favorite kind of cheese. Before you get started, you might want to spray it a little bit. I mostly put the top because the cheese has grease in it. You might want to put a little on the bottom, but it's mostly my top that sticks for me. So just put your favorite cheese in there. This is a miscellaneous batch because I had some sharp cheddar I needed to use up and I also had some mozzarella. And then I also had like a Mexican blend that has jalapeno. And so we're just, who knows what it's going to taste like, but it's going to be good. So you just layer your cheese in there and you take your dill pickle slices, whatever kind you want. And I patted them dry in a paper towel and you just throw those in there and you just cover that back up with cheese. Cheese, and I'm not gonna lie, I probably overdid on the cheese, so we will see cheese flowing over in this nutty waffle iron. And literally just put it down and you're gonna see a lot of the steam and moisture come out. And the tricky thing is waiting long enough before you open it, because I know it's super tempting to be like, okay, it's warm enough, the cheese is melty, but you wanna wait, because otherwise you're gonna open it, half the cheese is gonna be on the top, half the cheese is gonna come on the bottom. But if you get it right, it'll be, like I said, essentially like a waffle and it's crunchy. Um, that's so really crunchy. I love pickles. A lot of people dip it in ranch. Uh, I like mustard because I like that tangy flavor. I would dip it in ketchup. Ketchup, yeah. Yeah, like I dip cheese curds in ketchup. Absolutely. Yeah. Marinara sauce even. So Ooh. what's the what's the magical amount of time in the waffle iron? I, online, they said about two to three minutes, but mine usually take longer. I think it's because I probably put in more cheese than okay. took- Person does. I don't know if you can see it on this. Yep. Yeah, it looks like it's on fire. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. plenty of steam coming out of there, all the moisture cooking out of the cheese, and I probably didn't have the pickle quite dry enough. But yeah, I would say once you start maybe seeing the edges turn a little bit brown, that's when you know it's pretty much cooked through. And no matter what, I still haven't perfected it. I still have to take a fork and kind of scoop yeah. it off the top. But super fun, super easy, get you that flavor of the fairs that we've been missing. And hopefully we'll get to see again once we get back to the summer months, we have this vaccine, but also a great way to celebrate National Cheese Lovers Day. Awesome. I'm just watching that steam. It's so <laughs> satisfying. It is, it actually, I, I'm like, is this like a vaporizer? 
We should market this. They have those essential oils. Yeah, a cheese diffuser. Cheese diffuser. Oh my gosh. People would buy that. It would. We are in the wrong business. Oh my gosh.